Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Stardeos. Uh, let's see, last episode we started harvesting some of the glass out of our little community room annex here, just so we have a good supply of it. And if we look at our inventory, that has improved quite a bit. We're at 343, so I'm definitely happy about that. And then we also learned that for carbon, which I had been burning uh, in our matter reactors... Uh, it looks like as I tear down some of this reinforced wall, we're getting some uh, surplus carbon coming out of that. So that bodes well for us also, <laughs> as well. And then uh, what have we been doing? We've been slowly trying to wall off a corridor so that if our humans need to make their way all the way over to the shuttle, that they have a kind of oxygenated and room temperature path to get there. So we'll just see. That's not going quite as well. If we look at the temperature, we're still at, well, we're at negative 52 degrees Fahrenheit here. That's not going to do too well. Oh, in fact, yeah, these guys aren't real happy about that. They're not real happy, I don't think. This is, this is okay, right? It's livable. But as we get into the negatives here, it's, uh, it's not so great. But we're up to minus 294 degrees Fahrenheit here at the far end of this, this little uh, room here. And then we've got this all walled off. I guess once the temperature comes up in this room, we can tear down a little piece of wall here and let this room kind of heat up. We'll probably have to close it off somewhere. Or we'll get to a place in the tech tree where we can just place heaters and oxygen generators or something and take care of it that way. We'll just have to wait and see how that works, what, what we do. I'm going to go ahead and hit play so the research can keep moving forward. Uh, the other thing we saw that we've got a construction drone that now has the construction skill up to level six. I think I'm going to kick him out of the uh, machine learning building here and let someone else hop in. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. Drop task, maybe that's it. Boom, okay, there he goes. So he should go find something new to do. Let's pick a drone at random here. I'm just gonna pause the game. One more time so I can get a hold of a drone. I think I want a flying one if I can do it. There's a ranger man. Let's see what his skills are. He's only at four for construction. Uh, uh, I guess we could... Yeah, maybe we give somebody a different skill. Like, uh... Huh. I'm not sure what these actually do. <clears throat> being, being skills determine what kind of tasks they can work on. Skills level up over time when they are used. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if we should get like a mining thing going. Just have one of our people who's really good at mining. We could do it for the heck of it. Uh, let's see, Ranger Man. Let's go over to the Machine Learning Center or building here. And can I do Ranger Man and give him mining? Just, again, just to experiment with that. We've got somebody who can build pretty well. Let's amp up the mining abilities. And now maybe we can use that drone and send them down to a planet if we ever get there. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, this went along. We're mainly waiting on research. And we know we're going to need to place more matter reactors. Let's maybe, let's take a look at the inventory, see how much steel we have. Ooh, 1,012. But we can always take these walls down to just one width. Let's get a couple more built. We know we're going to need them. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to hit tab and do connectors first. That's the one I always seem to forget. Let's put one down, or let's do two connectors. And let's get another row of matter reactors down here. And I can probably keep using that tab key as a shortcut. Let's put a row like this. And then I think, I'm not sure, I don't think we can configure these. Can we? Yeah, not until they're built. 
And then what I might do is mark for destruction this inner wall. Just so we have resources. You know, down the road, maybe we'll beef it up and add it and shore it up. Uh, but right now, I think we need the resources more than we need the reinforcement. Now, as I say that, we'll probably get some enemies show up and just tear a hole through our ship. But I just want to make sure we've got enough resources to burn for electricity, because once we run out of that, I think we're probably pretty much done. Our construction drones won't be able to recharge, and our, our humans, you know, they're kind of limited to where we've got the heat and stuff. Let's see, can they not go into this room? Where? How, what's going on over here? The temperature is still a little too cold. Oh. Boy, we should... So only drones can go and move this material into this room. What I could do is tear out a section of wall here. Boy, it's pretty cold in this room also. What is that? That's just the door. I wonder why it's so cold. We have a vent. Yeah, it's cold everywhere. We're just losing a lot of heat. Wow. We're losing a lot of heat to our little room expansion over here, I think. It's, I don't know, is it? Yeah, it's slowly, slowly, slowly warming up. I don't know how much we lose every time they open the door. And there's just some stuff to be harvested here. But there's nowhere for these guys to put it. They want to take it to the matter reactor. I'm, I'm not sure why they can't put it in storage. Let's, uh, I'm going to set a haul order on these things. Is this guy going to pick one up? I'm not sure. Unsafe conditions, low oxygen. This grain. <clears throat> hmm. I know these guys are unhappy about all kinds of stuff. Uh, but there's not a lot I can do until we uh, we secure the ability to harvest more resources. All right, we're almost 80% on the propulsion research. This looks like these guys are getting built. Let's go ahead and connect all of our power poles. I don't know, it's probably overkill here. I'm sure I've got more than I need. Okay, we're going to need to configure these. I'm just getting them on the power network. And now we need to set the material. We're going to do steel plates. I don't want to repeat the mistake I made before. And burn glass. I don't think we want to burn glass. All right, so these guys should be good. And we got a warning a little bit earlier on about not having enough power. So hopefully that's enough to get us by, at least for a little while. Um, we do need to fuel engines with electricity. So we'll see. They may end up complaining more. We're at 84% on the engines. Construction seems to be moving pretty slow. Not sure why. Looks like these guys are planting or something. Somebody's doing some stuff over here, looks like. Okay, we've got deconstruction here. Ooh, I may be able to harvest some more glass. Looks like we've got glass underneath this wall. We'll probably harvest that, too. We're kind of limping by with the uh, construction drones that we've got. We do have the repair station, so hopefully that keeps them operational. But they've got a lot of work to do. But it's kind of cool. I'm glad to see the glass under here, and I'm glad to see the carbon. I think we're probably going to need that for the tech tree. All right. 
Uh, okay, this is old, I think. A little notification that our drone got up to level six. Now, Scrap Clankers, whenever he feels like it, he can come over here and build this assembler. We've got all the ingredients available for that. So hopefully we'll see that happen. Suppose we can mark this stuff for collection. And I guess I'll harvest out that glass, right? Might as well do it. What are we doing on glass? Let's look at our inventory. Up to 339, that's good. Steel plates, it's lower, but I'm not too worried about it. We still have, you know, sections of ship out here floating out in space that we could just deconstruct. I marked a bunch of that a couple episodes ago. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure if this has been worked on or not. I'm sure these guys are unhappy. I can't... To oh, they're cold. I'm guessing, or let's see. What are they doing? Mood, negative 20. Needs. Shower. Okay, they're all complaining they want showers. Someday. Right now, we got to make sure we can survive. Propulsion's at 98%, so pretty soon we'll be able to build those rockets. For thrusters. And I guess I'm trying to think of where to put them. I guess I'll put them over here. I gotta put a nah, they can get out. I'm gonna say I need to put a door, but all right. Let's see if we can place a thruster. Let's take a look at some of the existing ones. I guess it just clamp clamps right on, right? Looks kind of cool. We just need to attach it and power it up. Don't think it really matters where, but I, I honestly don't have any idea. Let's see. Ruster. I don't know where the bridge chair is. I guess that was under furniture, right? Captain's chair or something? Captain's chair. High tech chair that goes well with the bridge controls. Two steel plates. We can build one of these, I guess, just for the heck of it. Um, but first let's do what we got to do. And that is a thruster. Let's rotate. I'm guessing we definitely need one going down because that's where the place is. So let's, I know I'm going to end up having to move these. Let's just get it within range of a power pole. I'm going to pop this guy here. Boom. And I'm going to pop one over here. And I think we're going to need one to slow us down. So we probably need one over here. Again, this isn't the final placement. It's not pretty. What do these take? Uh, glass three, that's not bad. Carbon three, we've been producing that as we tear down the reinforced walls. So that is very cool. And steel plates, we got plenty. Even as we burn electricity or burn them for electricity, I think we'll be okay. I guess we could put a captain's chair here. Um, we're, unfortunately, we're right in front of one of these floor lights. I'm going to tear that thing out. And then, uh, we'll put, uh, a regular steel plate there and a captain's chair. Can place a hall order to move some of this mess out of here and this mess out of here. And then it looks like our little glass area. <laughs> we finished that. I can see some regular floor over here. But we managed to get a little bit of extra glass there, so that's all good. Let's replace the floor with just steel plates. Same thing here. Let's haul this mess out and then pop a steel plate down. And then we can do the uh, captain's chair. I think it's just for looks, but... And then we just got to wait for these thrusters to be built. And then I think we can go to the star map and just pick a destination and see if we can get there. Uh, and we'll have to find out if our colonists can make it to the shuttle 
or if we're going to have to research heat. So that's why I'm going to hold off on the uh, research tree for a second. This room, yeah, this room is really cold. And it's, it is sealed, right? Let's look at the insulation. Yeah, that room is completely sealed off. It's getting its heat from this vent. So there's a gap there, but that makes sense. Okay. Temperature, yeah, it's just a little too cold. Oxygen looks pretty good. Oxygen here is pretty horrible. I'm tempted to open up the wall here because we don't have vents and heat up this room so people can move in here. But it's just, we're already losing a bunch of heat to this area. It is definitely warming up because it was at like 300. Now it's at 263, minus 263. Very slowly that's warming up. I don't know if there's any, is there any oxygen in here? Probably not much. 10%, it's not too bad. All right, is anybody making progress on our thrusters? It doesn't look like it. There are a lot of construction tasks sitting there. I guess I could speed things up at this point. Again, we've got a limited number of drones until we can research how to create more construction drones. The assembler is buildable as well, but these guys are just busy doing all the odds and end tasks I gave them. I probably shouldn't have done laid down somebody. Let's go ahead and double speed at least. Kind of holding off on picking research, but let's take a look while we're waiting for things to build. Cloning don't care. Hygiene, this would make them a lot happier. Just hate to use up uh, memory and disk space. Unless we absolutely, absolutely need to. I kind of don't, not worry. I think we have lots of colonists in stasis, so I'm not too worried if they're unhappy or they kind of die off a few of them. And I really want to conserve resources. Recycler produces water and clean biomass out of bio waste. Again, this is all very cool. It's just, I don't see it as being critical. Self-replication. Advanced computing. Self-replication. What is that? That looks kind of cool. Ship computer holds your neural network. Does this just allow us to build another ship maybe? That's my guess. Overclocking. Allowing you to control more workers. Okay, looks like we're going to have to add CPU modules. Scanning radar. Uh, that's kind of interesting, right? Incoming bodies, asteroids, ships, and anomalies can scan planets and other space objects for resources. That I think we're going to do. Let's do that. Let's get that going. Looks like we didn't have to create more disk space or memory, so we're good there. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Ranger main mining level up to three. Let's see if our guy is actually trained up. Did he leave? Yeah, he left. All right. All right. I think. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody in here. Let's train somebody up. Marvin. How about we get somebody who's really skilled in repair? That's slowing down our build process, by the way, right? We're taking one drone out of commission, but hopefully it, uh, it'll pay itself back. <laughs> Look at all this stuff that can't be harvested. They can't get in this room. Yeah, right now I've just got too many tasks for everybody. Rocket has been created. Let's power this up. Are the other ones built? Yeah, they are. All right, so we're going to take a connection from over here. I know it's sloppy, but let's just do it. Boom. Let's connect up these others. I'll go to single speed. And let's see. Yeah, this guy's got a couple connections. Let's just use them. You and you. Now we've got thrusters powered in each direction. 
Let's go put down our captain's chair we talked about. I think it's just aesthetic. I'm not positive. Captain's chair. And we can rotate this. Boom. Doesn't cost much. I think it's pretty cheap. Drones have mostly filled in the floor here. Construction level has gone up. They take the little breaks, but when they build, they seem to go pretty fast. We've got more resources to pick up and everything. Um, I guess I can do that. I know I'm giving our limited drone population here probably too much to work on at once. Still a lot of construction tasks. Oh yeah, these guys are deconstructing out here. So I'm actually kind of glad to see this, that we're harvesting resource. But again, I've probably got way too many uh, construction tasks queued up for the little number of uh, construction drones we've got. I'm not sure how you specify the order. Anyway, let's go to the map and see what we can do. Can we go here now? Travel here. Okay, flight impossible. There are five detached sections. Deconstruct or reattach the sections first. Oh, man. That is depressing. That is depressing. All right. Yeah, I'm not enthusiastic about connecting these up. And I'm not sure if this debris kind of comes with us or doesn't. Let's gather it. I don't want to lose any materials. Let's deconstruct this. And I really want to just deconstruct it all. I don't I don't really need this stuff. But it's slow. Slow, slow, slow. Deconstruct. We're probably going to have to go full speed on the uh, on the game speed here. I mean, I could. Hmm, I could connect these with a single line of plates. I guess we can start that ish. Not crazy. Really not crazy, but let's do it. It may be faster than deconstructing the whole thing. Let's just put a connection here. Uh, I might need a little more because this block's going to get deconstructed. Let's do it. And we're learning. Had I known these things weren't connected on their own already, then I uh, probably wouldn't have deconstructed all this. So that'll get that part connected. What about this stuff? Shortest path, I guess. Let's do it. We're still going to deconstruct these, but let's just get them attached so we can kind of move the ship around. I don't want that. I want the minimum, just about the minimum I can get. All right, yeah, let's super duper speed it and see if we can get these pieces connected up and we can collect these little straggler resources. And hopefully we'll have enough energy along the way. A cold damage. I do want to collect these scraps. That's waiting to be deconstructed. And then we got this guy over here we got to kind of connect. Hmm. Yeah, not crazy about doing this, but just for the time it's going to take. But let's do it. Okay, someone took cold damage. Repair level's up to two. 
I could stop upgrading my drones, but we've only got one little machine learning center here. So maybe, oh, everybody's gone. Let's pick somebody. I don't know what this navigation is. Let's go ahead and upgrade that on Ranger Man. Feels like I should be making use of this little booth here. To try and up the capacity of our robots, our construction drones, I should say. We got some more stuff to collect here. They're making progress here with the super duper speed. Turned up. Construction level up to seven. Nice. That's really good. Let's see. Did we get our assembler? We did. What can this guy do for us? Assembler? I have no idea. Let's power it up. Now, maybe? Assemble a cleaning bot. What is that going to take? Um, does it tell us? Does it not? Let's, let's build one of these. Okay, wanted amount. Cleaning bot. Okay, it's doing it. We need the cleaning port. Did I put that down over here? I did. I got to power it up. Almost forgot about that. Or I should say I did forget about it. So we got a charge port. Nectar malfunction. All right, let me pause. We need more power, of course. Let's double speed it. And I'll throw down another row of power here. We'll do our same thing here. We'll throw down a couple connectors. Boom. Boom. I could make this a lot more compact, but we'll worry about that later. I think we're going to tear these out anyway for the um, higher powered ones. I'll just hit tab again and do, what is it? Combustion? What was it? Matter. Matter reactor. Just drop four more of these down while everybody's doing their thing. Captain's chair is built. Got our cleaner drone should be somewhere. bot. Node is unreachable. I'm not sure what that's all about or telling me. This guy is connected. Right. Cleaning bot dock. Switch off. Order deconstruction. Took cold damage. Life support lacks power. That's not good. Connector malfunction. Lost connection. Took cold damage. Wake up. Took cold damage. Let's get rid of all that stuff. And let's see if they're building our power. Okay. Somebody died. Hey, there's our cleaning bot doing their thing. Uh, that's fine. Not really the most important place. Maybe it'll find its way where it's needed. Need to get this stuff built. Okay. People are dying off. They're freezing out probably. Yes, for power loss. No, I can probably shut something down, right? Let's let's shut this off. Oh, do I have to hold it? Let's shut down. I'm trying to think of what I can do to conserve power until our drones build this stuff over here for us. Hey, they're loading bodies into the nutrient extractor. Hey, is that our cleaning bot finally? Yeah. All right, that's good. So all the complainers, I mean, our villagers have died. Okay, we've got one electricity thing set up here. Let's get these hooked up. I think we're okay. I'm not too worried at the moment. Just got someone wake up. Woke up. I'm going to go back to single speed just so I can get the power hooked up. Because otherwise we're going to have people popping out and dying. Okay, the energy control center, you know, it has to be in the same electricity grid as a ship computer. 
it is. So why are we not able to connect this? That makes almost no sense. Sure, what's going on there? Let's not connect it to the grid. Hmm, I'm missing something obvious here. I've got this new symbol here, which I'm not sure what that is. Okay, connect to refuel. No, it is unreachable. That seems impossible. Everything is suddenly unreachable. Note is unreachable. To control this energy node, it has to be on the same electricity grid as the ship computer. Expand your grid by chaining connections until one of them can reach this device. Did I just lose my whole network or something? Yeah, that's really quite strange. It's like these things aren't connected anymore. I don't uh, totally understand what I'm seeing here. See what happens. Does this need to be reconnected? Okay. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm confused. I don't know if we just entered into like a um satisfactory like kind of blackout situation or something where the our ship computer somehow got disconnected from the rest of the network or something goofy. It's kind of strange. Everything should be connected. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, done. Increase electricity production. I have no idea what's going on. Now, my assumption, like, it's letting me hook things up now. My assumption is that we got to a point where power was so low that the connection to the ship computer was severed. But I, to be honest, I have zero idea if that was actually what happened or not. Let's get our four new matter reactors going. I don't see as many warnings at the moment. Let's see what the temperature's like here over near the stasis. We've got a villager. Oxygen looks good, really good. Temperature looks good there. Looks good there. Ooh, so cold in this room. Our cleaning bot is choosing to make the cleanest rooms cleaner and is neglecting the filthiest rooms. That's all right. There he goes. He's starting to do a little bit of a job here. That should make our colonist singular happy. How are we doing with connecting everything up? This looks pretty good. Let's collect uh, this some of this resource that was... I don't want to leave anything behind. I don't think we will, but I just want to make sure we don't. De deconstruct those two little straggler blocks. How are we doing? This is all kind of connected. Maybe we'll tear these little floaters out. We are getting ready to travel. But, let's see. But I think that's going to be next episode. Let's, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. We do have a cleaning bot doing their thing, like I said. Hopefully that'll I'll be able to catch up. It's got a charging station. Had some kind of strange power issue, but I think we're we've overcome that. So yeah, let's wrap this one here, and then at the top of next episode, let's see if we can travel to that planet in hopes of being able to secure some resources with our uh, shuttle. And I'm sure there's more adventure ahead once we do that. That's probably going to trigger some kind of attack from hostiles but we'll cross that bridge when we get there yeah this ship looks amazing i don't think if you guys tell you what let me just hold it here if you guys want to take a screenshot and uh, show your friends
I don't think it gets better than this. But yeah, we'll pick it up from here next episode. For now, it's the Glider Cat signing off, saying again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, for those of you guys who have been giving the video a thumbs up, thanks to you. I really appreciate that. And we'll see you in the next episode.